possibly A3 to power has been, or D3 to power has been experimenting with some very slow second moves. And very slow first move here. One E4 by Vishwanathan Anand against Magnus Carlsen. Bishop C4, that's the spirit. No hmm. more Berlin's Vichy. Really found something he liked in this Jocko Piano. And yeah, we've seen many different variations here. Castles followed by d5, d6 followed by a6, d6 followed by castles, you name it. It has been played in this event. Goes Agnes for goes a6. for the main line. And d6 and a6, a4, the move that rejuvenated the Italian this plan with a4, knight a3 executed by Vichiana. And it's met with the knight e7 followed by knight g6 maneuver first or not first, but on top level the first time I've seen it was by Anish Giri in the Candidates Tournament against Vichy. Vichy went Bishop G5 in that game, but got less than nothing after C6, so I'm expecting him to deviate from that, and he does, he goes Knight to C2. Sticking with the typical plan for these positions, go Bishop E3, exchange those bishops, then slowly prepare D4, and hope to gain a tiny advantage because of your slightly more active pieces and your extra space on the queen side. There's bishop e3, takes, knight takes, knight g4 has been the topic of conversation between those two in a very similar position with colors reversed in the rapid where Magnus managed to gain that tiny edge against Vichy. But Magnus plays differently, he goes a6, a5, very interesting move long term, fixing the pawn structure here so he can't get cramped by playing a5, which is something he managed to do himself against Vichy. I expect Vichy to go h3. Oh, he doesn't. He goes rook e1. I thought he was going to try to stop knight g4, but probably it's not that big a deal in this situation. Seems like he's not afraid of that. He just goes with the normal developing move, and we shall see if Magnus Carlsen goes for knight g4. <coughs> yeah, another typical move would be to just play knight g6, so first c6, maintain the structure, and in general, if black can exchange an extra pair of minor pieces, he should try to do that. So knight g4 would still be high on my list. Of candidates. Let's see if the world champion agrees. Thinking for a bit here. What is he thinking about? Bishop g4 looks unlikely giving up that bishop. He goes with knight g6, does not like my knight g4 move. <clears throat> and yeah, this is very typical. Black gets his knight from c6 to g6, where not only can it jump into f4, it also helps him to fight for the center by going for c6 and d5, should he need it. To my mind, these positions always look very equal, but the world's best players with white have mashed to create some small problems here and there for each other. Therefore, this line is going to be around for a while. What has Vichy done? h3 is a move? No, I think the pawn is still on h2, so it's a mystery what he has just played. He's played bishop b3. This is also a typical idea. He tries to transfer this bishop to c2 to support the d3, d4 advance, because you need to cover the e4 pawn before entering such adventures. Magnus once again faces the decision if he wants to go bishop e6, another structure we've seen plenty, and allow the doubling of his pawns, or if he wants to do something else. I H6 is always a typical move. Knight g4 seems less attractive now that it can be met with, for example, knight f5. So I believe that ship has sailed. <clears throat> it should be. Ah, he's played c6. Fair enough. Hinting at d5. Maybe after bishop c2. He doesn't want to wait for white to play d4. Well, go d5 himself. But Vish is not impressed. Goes bishop c2 anyway. When d5 could really change the situation in the center, it's quite typical to counter d5, even with a direct d4. But here it looks like black is ready for that after e takes d4. I can't spot any particular trouble. Curious to see if Magnus is going to go for d5 or if he will maintain the structure. I see many of the fans on Chess24 are rooting for Vichy and they believe that he can stop Magnus Carlsen. On the other hand, of course, the world champion has plenty of fans as well. So once again, we see that our Chess24 community, community is very divided by who their favorite players are. Looks like Magnus having a bit of a bad hair day there. What's going on? <laughs> it's too early, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think he's known as an early bird. And as mentioned, there were lots of sports events last night, which he likes to follow closely. So By the way, what happened in the basketball? It's a sad story. That's oh, the reason. You better not ask then. Black tie. Oh, it's been a bad I'm night. I'm sorry. Mm. 
wrong team won, then a favorite character got killed on Game of Thrones. Like, oh. I'm not sure how this get day can get any worse. Maybe losing to Lawrence Trent in Blitz or something. <laughs> Let's just change topic and see something brighter. Bishop e6 on the board and rook a d8. Some new moves. Yeah, Magnus decided against this d5. He allowed Vichy to go d4 and tried to just maintain the structure. And then quickly took on e5 and went g3. Once again, trying to exploit his slightly, slightly better placed minor pieces. In this case, the knight on e3 is better than the knight on g6 because the knight on g6 is severely restricted by the pawn on g3. It's never much in these positions, and it doesn't look like a position where Magnus Carlsen could get in trouble. But you work with what you've got on the board, and Vichy is trying to put a bit of pressure here. Just went b4. Knight f8. Where is this knight heading? Going back to the queen side, or he wants to go some knight h7, knight g5? Yeah, both possible. Anywhere but g6, where there's really nothing to do for it anymore. Maybe these bishops get exchanged, and the knight can go to e6, restoring the symmetry. But I'm not sure if knight h7, I doubt, because then after h4, I would have to go back hunting for squares. Was Vichy done? Knight c4. c4, but some exchanges happened there. Mm -hmm. What has been exchanged, and then bishop g4. Magnus took on b4 and went bishop g4. His idea is to fight for the d4 square. He wants to go knight e6, followed by knight d4. And I like this idea. I believe something's gone wrong for Vichy. And yeah, you, you can see he doesn't look all that pleased with himself. He exchanges rooks. Yeah, he's trying to now neutralize black's initiative, but he must have underestimated this bishop g4 move or missed it. Because now black can just go bishop takes f3, followed by knight e6 and knight d4 when he would have a good knight against a slightly passive white bishop. So once again, Magnus Carlsen making it look easy, these positions. And we see this knight has found a very nice destination. Rook oh. takes d8, queen takes d8. Mm. Rook, Rook d1, d1 just trying to get the d5. And mm. after the queen moves, and rook d8, I guess he just hopes that the, p the pieces get exchanged and there will be no trouble, but we started to like black's position more. Yeah, maybe he wants to jump queen c7, knight d6, but then just rook d8 doesn't seem to really lead anywhere. Ah, oh, he Magnus went to e7, targeting the b4 and pawn along the way. b1? Rook b1, he had to defend it, but now the position might slowly be getting critical. You can already start calculating. I guess knight e6 doesn't work yet because of knight takes e5, but you certainly have to wonder about it. And he did play it after two seconds of thinking knight e6 is on the board. And yeah, this... How do you win material here? It feels like something should drop, but I can't see it. It does feel like, but Vichy doesn't believe it. He captures the pawn. Knight d4, queen d3, and okay. we shall see what is the trick. Maybe there is no trick. You can always simplify when you pawn back. Bishop f3, knight f3, knight c2, for example. But I'm surprised that Carlsen went in for this so willingly. It looked like his position was already asking for more than just equality. <laughs> Maybe he thought he had something here, and now he's disappointed. <clears throat> Yeah, not quite sure what he missed, <clears throat> or what I'm missing. Maybe rook d8, or something like that. It also doesn't feel crushing. Just knight takes g4, and there's no favorable knight move. No, it seems like Vichy managed to, yeah, escape here because had he allowed the knight to d4 with the black pawn still on e5, it would have been a very unpleasant positional grind. While now, if there's nothing direct in the position they have on the board, then the game should just end peacefully. Carlson's calculating, but he can't think forever. He only has one minute, 20 seconds left. Which he seems to be very relaxed. He has calculated everything, everything under control. My Magnus Carlsen must have missed something because this isn't what he wanted. Bit of a stare down there by Vichy, giving him the look. What are you doing? Knight f3, knight f3. Queen takes e4. Queen e4, simplifying to an equalish endgame. Queen e4, knight e4, and any move, knight d4. Mm -hmm. Actually, not any move, but probably knight d4. King g2 would run into bishop f3. Rook b3. Rook b3, interesting. Knight f6, so that the rook could enter 
the uh, second rank rook e2. Yeah, but it is an equal position now. <clears throat> you have yeah. to handle with a bit of care as white. I believe white's pawns are a little more vulnerable, but I'd be shocked if, not shocked, but surprised if this ended anything but peacefully. King g2 by Vichy. Bishop e6, Magnus trying to pose new problems by transferring his bishop to d5. Vichy is considering rook e3 here if he's in time to break free of this pin. And he decides, rook nah, not worth the trouble. I keep my rook on the board to cover this guy. Bishop d5, probably king f1. And here, Magnus, as usual, trying to make something out of very little. King, king f1, f1 on the board. As you said. My g4. Asking some small questions like. But now he can take on f3 and there's yeah, no idea. She lost a pawn. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. This isn't just a simple pawn down. Seemed like it. He's relentless, Carlson. Always ah. manages to come up with small tricks. H3 was a blunder. Can we go, just go back quickly to that moment in case somebody did not understand it so quickly? H3 attacking the knight, but bishop takes f3, and in case of rook takes, it's knight h2 fork. Indeed. So Vichy Anand has blundered the pawn, and now Magnus Carlsen can try to win this position, which seemed to be just a draw before. Yeah, Magnus inviting the exchange of rooks seems to be confident this position can be won because the pawn on b5 is also a target. If the black king makes it all the way here, this pawn would drop, and it's going to be hard for the white king to centralize because it also has to keep an eye on a potential past h pawn. Seems like very good chances for Magnus to convert this. Yeah. At the same time, the battle between the two Americans have finished. Nakamura beat uh, Fabiano Caruana. Is that Vichy Anand resigns resigning? Here. Yeah. So, so early? I thought no, he would fight a bit no more. Hope left. The king just comes after. Wow. The Magnus Carson wins again, so he jumps up to 18 and a half out of no. How, how is that? Not 18 and a half. It's already 19 and a half out of 30. We shall see the standings later, but let's just see the game that's still going on between Aronian and Kramnik. Another Kramnik rook end game. This time he's missing a bunch of pawns though, so not his vintage grind, but instead a pretty tough defense against Levan Aronian, who just pushed e6, trying to queen his e pawn. And as far as I can tell, this looks lost for black. It does look hopeless, but mm. maybe we missed something. King maybe Levon missed something. Hg e7 as rook h8, which oh. I missed too. And now the position is a draw. Levon draw. messed it up. <laughs> was there a way to win it, or it was already a draw? I'm not sure. After I'm h4, no Vladimir Kramnik, but it feels like there should be something. Um, it's not so easy. Rook b4, I was going to say, but then King d3, threatening checkmate. So it could be that. There is already a big drawing margin here. I don't know, but Kramnik knows his rook endgame stuff. Managed to keep that one under control versus Levon. Let's briefly see what happened to Fabiano Caruana. Piece down here. Where did he lose that piece? Oh, this is already not looking nice. And after b4, g3, f4 just expanding all the time. Black's pieces are very passive, and now what can you do against queen c7? He had to go rook c8, which is not a nice move, and after rook e7, this is just a piece up. Yeah, looks like he got outplayed by Hikaru. Anish Giri made another draw against Wesley So, but just by drawing his games, Anish Giri is not.